What's up, everybody? What's going on, man? Uh, man, uh, like, subscribe, man. Like, hit the like button for me, man. Make sure, let me know I ain't doing this for nothing. You know, drop some plays. Drop some plays, all right? A uh, little late upload, but it is what it is. I want to try to breeze through a few things. Um, really just want to work on getting these videos a little bit more compact, a little bit more, uh, you know, I want to give out my official plays and I think I'm start give. I think I'm gonna give a few of them out today. Uh, I know on, on on the first of the month, uh, July first, I'm gonna start giving out uh, officials, which is gonna be putting a lot of pressure on me. But it is what it is. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for rocking with me. And let's jump right into it. I'm trying to condense the slate a little bit. You guys got any questions about any games that I don't um, touch on? I'll give you my full honest opinion. And let's jump right into it. Most importantly. Uh, it's us against the books, man. Uh, we're a community. Uh, that's what I'm trying to, you know, uh, that's what I'm trying to, uh, you know, build here. Always. Uh, not on camera right now. I'm just chilling. Either way it goes. Let's jump right into it. Uh, first game we got on the docket here. We have the uh, New York Mets at uh, Miami Marlins here. Uh, we got an over under seven in this spot here. Uh, it's, it's, there's an instance where I can see this game it, it getting, uh, the lower score, low, lower score, going the lower scoring range here. Uh, we got Alicantri on the mound, a walk on the mound. Uh, I don't know uh, about a side that I want to choose in this one. I don't know. I mean, we got two, uh, well, we got Alicantri, Alcantara, I'm sorry, Alcantara. Uh, well, that's why I, how I at least say his name. We have Alcantara on the mound. We know he goes, you know, a, a very very long distance here. Uh, so um, he did just pitch eight innings against this team, and uh, uh, he gave up six hits, uh, one you know one walk, and eight strikeouts to two hundred runs in that in that span. There, uh, strikeouts have been there for him uh, in 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 most instances. He hasn't had under four strikeouts, so that's something to look at there. I do want to attack this game from a pitching standpoint, though. I ain't even gonna lie. So uh, looking at the strikeouts here for these two uh, pitchers here, uh, five and a half for Al Alcatara at minus 140. Um, he's hit this number and uh, well, his strikeouts, eight against the Mets, five against Philly, six Washington, eight San Francisco, 14 Atlanta, seven, eight Atlanta, uh, five, six, five, six. So, you know, it just is what it is. Uh, it is, you know, it's, it's very doable. Uh, it's just a part of, uh, getting there uh so um that's one 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 prop that i'm looking at you know i got a, a i would say a slight lean towards the over but i'll just say this i think that he could hit this uh prop here if you like the miami uh miami for some reason here and uh, I, I don't mind you getting to uh, uh player performance doubles uh he's probably went under five strikeouts once this year and that was his very first game and you'll get five strikeouts in the win for plus 104 if you decide to go that route. Uh, Taiwan Walker, on the other hand, uh, his his strikeout probably sitting at uh, four and a half. Uh, he's hit this number in instances. He had nine strikeouts versus this very Miami team uh, on the 18th. So uh, 10 strikeouts against, guess who, Los Angeles Angels. Yes, you know, we always target them. I do as well. I mean, I, I can say, but like I said, his strikeout probably sitting at a minus one twelve at four and a half. Uh, don't mind it if you get there. I got a slight lean to get there. I'm okay with altering these guys as well. I mean, getting to a four strikeout for uh 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 Ty Taiwan Walker in uh prep in, in in um in say game parlays and uh, maybe a, a five strikeouts for uh um Alcantara, uh, Alcantara in uh, say game parlays is not out of the realm of possibility for me. Uh, even you know you can get that five and four for a minus one nineteen. So sides, all that stuff is you know it, it it can be overwhelming picking a side, but we got options. We got options. Another option, uh, other options that I uh, like to explore here is uh, pitching outs, and uh, you can look for that something like on a site like DraftKings. So uh, you know you got pitches that goes to, that goes the distance in certain instances. Like uh, let's let's just take Alcantara for. Example, um, he's somebody who, who pitches like seven or eight innings. So right now, uh, they got his pitching out set at, uh, let's see, his, his, uh, uh, I, I, I could tell his, it, his, his, he's went eight innings, seven, 
978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-978-
280. He just had uh, uh, nine strikeouts or better in three straight games. Nine strikeouts is plus 540. Not trying to press you into going that way. I'm just letting you guys know. And then, of course, they pitching outs are in play. Actually, pitching outs are in play for me for both for both guys here. I mean, uh, depending on where they have them set at, but, you know, uh, pitching outs is a really, 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 really good way to, uh, you know, uh, separate yourself because you don't actually have to pick K's. You know, if you, you know, your pitcher can, you know, really get out of jams and, you know, go the distance, then, you know, that's something that you can look at. And walks as well. All right. So, yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. So they need Severino. I have it's juiced over 17 and a half pitching outs is juiced. Maybe a, par, a parlay piece on DraftKings, but you get it at minus 165. I'd imagine he does get his fair share of innings, at least six. So that's something that you could probably look at there. But uh, like I said, I'm going to keep on moving. Uh, I think I'm going to sprinkle on that five and a half for sure. I think I'm going to sprinkle on that five and a half. Uh, bats I like there in that situation. Uh, I didn't really fully look into that bats for that uh, 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 New York game, but I do know DJ LeMay who has uh, a decent sample size versus Verlander or a small sample size versus Verlander. He does have a home run. I have to go check the rest of the numbers there. So there you have that. Plus he went 0 for 4 or 5 yesterday. I needed him to hit, uh, get a hit to complete this uh, six six hit parlay I had for that game. He he blew it, but uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for him to go out and at least get a hit. I'm gonna actually put him down for a hit. So I might alter some might alter strikeouts and then put D, DJ LeMayo for a hit for a same game parlay. Yep, that's probably that's that's def, definitely what I'm gonna do. I know that for sure. Um, next game I want to touch on is the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, uh we got an over under seven in this one. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays are big time favorites here. Uh, Pittsburgh's rolling out Keller and uh, uh, Tampa Bay's rolling out Springs here, okay? Um, another game that I probably want to target for strikeouts, all right? Um, let me see. Let me get some numbers here. Specifically, uh, somebody like uh, Keller, okay? I mean, not Keller, uh, Springs. So uh, as of late, Springs has been, you know, getting his strikeouts on as of late. Uh, he had strikeouts in the area of 6, 5, 5, 7, 6, 7. Um, this Pirates team showed they can strike out. So that's one thing that we can look at there. All right. Now, uh, one thing, I, you know, I'm having trouble with is, uh, you know, his strikeout. It, it is doable. I don't think he's done this nothing but probably – uh, twice this season, uh, he's hit this number and his it, it, it strikeouts, uh, Jeffrey Springs strikeouts sitting at seven right now. Oh, the over under sitting at six and a half. Although I, I just don't want to go all the way up there. So, I, you know, I'm going to give a slight lean towards, uh, uh, Tampa Bay. Nothing official though. It's not an official play, but I'm definitely going to look at the play, player performance doubles. Uh, you're going to get Springs, his strikeouts starting at three, uh, five strikeouts to the win. I mean, I, I, I you know, it, 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 you know, I, I'd rather take the five strikeouts in the win if I decide to take the uh, Tampa Bay Rays uh, uh, money line. So that's one way that I'm thinking about Lee because they're big, big time heavy favorites here. And uh, we do have a, a a low total here. And uh, actually, you know, uh, Tampa Bay hasn't been putting up runs like that, man. You know, uh, you know, so um, if you get on the other side, if you get somebody like Keller coming out there and pitching a, a decent game, which he's been pitching okay as of late. Uh, I can see a low scoring game here. Maybe you could, might get some value on the uh, on the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates at least the uh, run line. So you know that's something that you could look at. So I'm really, really too, really, really undecided here. Uh, either way it goes, uh, uh, a, a low total uh, means you know pitchers not going to get hit, and which means uh, I can lead towards some strikeout props. So. Uh, Definitely looking towards uh, something like that. Maybe a, maybe even altering some, altering it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, like maybe get to a five strikeouts for a uh, 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 Jeffrey Springs. And like I know these teams don't put up too many runs. I, maybe I could get to something like an uh, hmm, a no runs first inning. Or if you want to be safe about things, you can probably get to a, a under one and a half runs. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. And uh, you know, just mixing things up or whatever the case may be. Uh, 
first first half, uh, you know, first half, first half spread or first half money line or anything like that, you know, anything like that. Uh, so uh, I do lean towards a nerfy in this one, though. No runs first inning. All right. Uh, so uh, that's one. That's a few things that I'm going to be looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, more than one way to you know attack these games. More than one way to attack these games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, next game I want to touch on is this Los Angeles Dodgers uh, versus Atlanta Braves. Here uh, we got an over under nine in this spot. Uh, decent decent money line. Uh, if you if you have interest in uh, the Dodgers money line. Uh, I wouldn't mind laying the juice there, uh, but I, I don't know, man. Uh, like I said, we got Urias on the mound. We got Anderson on the mound here. Um, we know we know what uh, this Braves team can do against lefties. Uh, they uh, put that on display yesterday. Um, and then I'll cover that with the fact that guys like Duval and uh, Acuna and uh, I forgot who else didn't. Uh, I, uh, didn't didn't play yesterday. Riley didn't didn't play yesterday. Um, these Braves they coming with their full arsenal. I would I would believe uh, here today. And uh, you know going up against these lefties, like I said, you see what they done uh, yesterday. I know the two top bats, uh, at least uh, OPS wise versus uh, these these lefties are uh, Austin Riley and Danzy Swanson. Danzy Swanson hit two home runs yesterday. Now this is a different lefty, of course. This is Urias, but uh, I, 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 you know, I still think runs. I, I'll tell you one thing. I think runs are going to be put up here. Um, this uh, total here should be in jeopardy. Uh, it's I, I don't know if it should be higher or what. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards the over in this spot here. Yeah. Uh, Anderson, on the other hand, uh, you know, um. I do give the pitching the nod to uh, San Francisco, man. I mean, uh, the Dodgers. I do give the pitching nod to the Dodgers. Don't get me twisted in this situation here. But, you know, uh, these these Atlanta Braves have been hitting, uh, hitting, hit, hit, hitting lefties pretty hard. And then uh, couple that with the fact that Anderson, you know, he, he, he pitched six, six and point two six shutout innings versus the uh, – the Cubs in this last outing, but he has given up four, two, five, four, four runs. All right. So these Dodgers, they hit righties and they hit lefties. So I'm just looking for runs to be put up in this one here. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not interested in pitcher props or nothing like that. Uh, I'm going to make that official. I'm going to go take it over on the. I'm going to take the over on this one here. Uh, they got to have their team upside the head. Official play uh, over uh, nine runs there. Um, Washington Nationals at uh, uh, Texas Rangers. I I I don't want to, you know, if I had to pick one, it would be the uh, Texas Rangers in this spot here. I'm skipping over the Baltimore game. I'm sticking. Uh, I mean, I'm skipping over the Oakland game here, going straight to the uh to the White Sox and uh, uh White Sox and uh Baltimore here. I did have a strange strong lean towards the White Sox last night, uh, but it seems like we have a pitching change here. And uh, I ain't even going to lie. I didn't look into this uh, Voth guy. I ain't even going to lie. But it looks like it's going to be a bullpen game. And, uh, you know, uh, that's, you know, uh, not a big fan of the bullpen over here. But uh, I don't know. I, actually, I think I have to go back and check. I think Baltimore's bullpen has been okay. But on the other side, you're going to get uh, five and a half K prop for uh, Kopech here. Uh, something that's doable for him. But I don't know if I'm going to get there. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, you know, you know, uh, it's like he hit this number like occasionally, not as strong as I want him to. Uh, but I do got a slight lead towards the Sox in this spot. So pair performance doubles are probably gonna be. So right now, see, they have Bradish AK still up there. Like, what? Why is it still up there? I don't know, man. Either way it goes, four strikeouts in the win. Minus 122. I don't mind getting there. All right? I don't mind getting there. Slight lean to that right there. Four Ks in the win. Slight lean to four Ks in the win, and you'll get that at uh, minus 122. Slight lean towards four Ks in the win. Uh, he's had that in every game except for three, I think, or maybe four. 
But uh, I, 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 I trust them. I trust them. If I decide to take the White Sox, I trust them. That's the bet that I'm going to take there. Okay. Uh, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Um, oh, man. Um, let me see uh, what I got here. Toronto Blue Jays at Milwaukee Brewers. We got an over under eight and a half in this one here. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays are the favorites on the road, going up against Milwaukee Brewer, Brewers, and we have Manoa and Hauser on the mound here. Um, I'm gonna give this pitching lean, the slight pitching lean towards the Toronto Blue Jays, and uh, I don't want to probably have anything to do with the K's here. Uh, I mean, uh, Manoa. Uh, you know, when I jump on them, it just be the least expected things happen. You know, but uh. These these Milwaukee bats don't scare me. They had they, they did start hitting here and there, but you know they don't scare me. Uh, Hauser, on the other hand, uh, 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 he's been giving up runs. You know, three, four, three, five, one, five. You know, so uh, the runs have been there for him. Uh, you know, walks as of late. You know, have been there for him. And uh, it's Toronto Blue Jays or nothing for me in this spot. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, they hit righties and lefties okay. Well, or whatever the case may be, so uh, I give a lean towards the pitching. I, mean, I, I, I give a lean towards the bats to, uh, uh, um, on Toronto. You know, money line, that's fine with me. Uh, I'll take them on the money line here for sure. Uh, Chicago Cubs at St. Louis Cardinals here. We got an over-under nine in this spot here. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals are the favorites here. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I do got a slight lean towards uh, uh, St. Louis in this one, but I'm looking more, more, more. The what I'm really, really looking at is uh, uh some bats here. I, I, I want, I really want to double team this club, this club teams with uh, uh, with uh, with um Goldschmidt and um, Arenado. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, they have great numbers versus uh. Versus Hendricks, you got uh, somebody like uh, Goldsmith, who's 13 for 39, uh, uh, nine extra base hits in that span, like at least nine doubles, and then uh, no home runs. So he's 13 for 39. Then you have Nolan Arenado. He's 10 for 36, three extra base hits, three home runs. So uh, I'll be looking at these guys. Uh, I don't mind to, uh, at least two total bases apiece for these guys. Or you know home runs. I just read the numbers out to you guys. Uh, those are some top uh, bats of the, on the slate right now. Uh, some of my top favorite bats right there uh, for hits and home runs, right? So uh, that's probably a way that I'm going to attack that game. Like I said, slight lean towards St. Louis, uh, but you know. And then you got <clears throat> honorable mention. You do have uh, Harrison Bader, who's eight for twenty-one uh, versus him as well. So. Uh, yeah, there you have that. All right, Seattle Mariners at uh, Los Angeles Angels. Here we got uh, Flexen and Lorenzen on the mound. Uh, over under nine and a half. Uh, uh, Los Angeles Angels are the favorites here. Okay, so uh, there you have that. Now I do have a slight lean towards the Angels here, but I don't know if I'm gonna go there. Okay, uh, a little bit more than a slight lean, but I don't know if I'm gonna go there. Secondly, you know I target this uh, Angels team for K's. Uh, tempting here. It's a tempting K prop here for me. I'm probably going to personally sprinkle some money because you know that's one of my favorite bets, one of my favorite targets here. Um, looking at the wins and K's here, um, I do want to see who's in the lineup straight up at, at, at the end of the day, but uh, Flex, not uh, well, actually, I'm looking at both of their K's. I'm looking at Flex and K sitting at four and a half at minus 126. Uh, the books know, you know, and then you got Lorenzo and his K is sitting at. Uh, 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 four and a half, uh, uh, plus 120. Now, uh, Fletcher, um, I mean, he's hit this number a decent amount of times this year. So, uh, uh, and then given the matchup, you know, the matchup is there. Um, hasn't given up more than three runs only once this year. Uh, but he has been getting hit. Uh, the walks have been there. So you, if you, if you're looking at a walk or looking for some walks, uh, he's been giving, you know, putting it up it's, on DraftKings, his walk prop probably coming out at one and a half. And he's giving up two, two, three, one, two, three, two. You know, the, the walks have been there. All right. So 
I don't know how patient this uh, Los Angeles Angels team is, but, you know, it is what it is when it comes to that situation. Now, uh, uh, he's, yeah, like I said, uh, he's hit this number, this strikeout number three out of his last five games. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, don't mind getting to that right there. Now, Lorenzen, on the other hand, uh, uh, he's shown he can hit that number. Now he's shown he can hit that number. The strikeout wage for a team, something like that, like uh, like uh, like uh, Seattle. I, I need to really, really look more into before I come back and double back, try to uh, and try to uh, 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 take this prop. So uh, I'm undecided. I mean, it's plus money. I gotta go look into that, and see why it's plus money. Uh, this this team probably don't strike out that much, but we will see. Other than that, um. I do have a slight lean towards uh, uh, Los Angeles Angels, but I'm probably not. I'll probably just fade them and just go with the strikeout props here. Maybe a same game parlay and parlay up both of those strikeout, two strikeout props and close my eyes and, you know, hope for the best. Uh, yeah, so um, what else do we have here? Uh, last game I really, really want to target. No. Let's talk about Philadelphia Phillies and San Diego Padres. We got an over under seven in this spot here. Uh, definitely a no run first inning candidate here. Uh, Philadelphia Phillies rolling out Nola and San Diego Padres rolling out Gore. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll with official here and go with uh, Philadelphia Phillies. I get a pitching lead to Philadelphia Phillies. This is an official play for me. Uh, I'm you know uh, and, and and like I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat here. And I'm about to, you know, jump into it. We talk about Gore for first of all. Uh, he's pretty decent pitcher. He does have K stuff. Now, don't get it twisted, because uh, you might not want to take the money line uh, uh, or uh, for either one, because uh, at the end of the day, these these numbers they do for different bets do weigh weigh in uh, differently, but they're still numbers, and I can find these type of numbers in different ways, but. Uh, uh, the last two games, uh, Gore pitched was versus Colorado, and uh, he got touched up in both. Uh, one at Colorado, one at home. Uh, eight earned runs and uh, six earned runs. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, Colorado, he is a lefty, and Colorado Rockies do hit lefties well. I mean, it just is what it is. But prior to those two games versus Colorado, I mean, 10 Ks for uh, 10 Ks versus Milwaukee, t- nine Ks versus Pittsburgh. Six versus San, San Diego. I mean, four versus Philly. Uh, this very team right here, three in his pitch. Three in his pitch, four versus Philly. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, six, two, ten, seven. All right. So he can, you know, he does have K upside. Gore does. All right. Uh, so um, that's something that you can look at there. But uh, Nola, on the other hand, you know, he has real K upside as well. Uh, he's been pitching well. It's really, really good this season. Um, w- under five strikeouts one time, uh, I want to say one time this season, and boy, oh boy, has been pitching well, you know. Uh, he's given up uh, four runs twice. Other than that, everything has been uh, three and three and under. As of late, he's just been pitching really good. Uh, uh, two earned runs and um, twenty-three innings. I mean, uh, twenty strikeouts and twenty-three innings. Uh, he's been doing good, you know. So uh, I don't think he pit, he hasn't pitched against this team, but either way it goes, uh, if I'm not looking for a game aside here, uh, I definitely can look at strikeouts, man. I mean, uh, strikeouts are definitely a play. Uh, a six and a half for Aaron Nola. Woo, that plus money. I want to jump on that so bad. And then uh, Mackenzie Gore, he, you know, Mackenzie Gore, his strikeout prop is pretty low. And then you'll get that. You can actually alter up some of these props right here. Uh, I mean, I, I don't mind getting to six strikeouts, man, for uh, Nola. I could give that to try there. Uh, he's hit that number in three straight games and uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, my God. He hit that. He hit that. And you know what? Let me shut up. He's just been hitting it, okay? And then, you know, a couple of the fact, I mean, you come back with a, a five strikeouts for uh, a five strikeouts for, uh, no, that's four. I'm sorry. Well, I could go with a four. I go with a four with a four, four and a six strikeouts there or just, you know, just take the strikeouts down or just, you know, take the strikeouts down. And those are some plays that I don't mind getting to 
alternating and then alternating, and uh, player performance doubles are not out. They're still not out. I was looking for player performance doubles earlier. Yeah, so even if I was to get to the win, let's see, six Ks in the win. Six Ks in the win should probably come out to a decent number for somebody like Nola. Yep. Uh, plus 141. Uh, five strikeouts in the win. Plus 102. You know, I do, I do, I am rolling with Philly in this one, though. Uh, yeah, I am rolling with Philly in this one here. Uh, last but not least, going to touch on the uh, uh, San, uh, San Francisco game here. Uh, right off the bat, uh, I was looking at another K prop here uh, for uh, Alex Cobb. Um, one up against Cincinnati. Uh, they're at home. Um, Alex Cobb does have K fit stuff, okay? So don't get it twisted. Uh, uh, it's just that uh, he, he can give up some runs here and there. But either way it goes, uh, like I said, um, he's had strikeouts prior to this game. Last game, he's had two strikeouts versus Pittsburgh. Eight strikeouts versus this Cincinnati team. All right, so that's one thing you can look at there. Seven strikeouts, uh, New York Mets. Four strikeouts, six, eight, you know, four, ten. So he... Excuse me. He can't strike out batters, but he can't give up runs. All right. Uh, two on runs versus Cincinnati on the 29th of May, and eight strikeouts, uh, three walks, uh, something along that performance it would be nice. Uh, now I did think I see a strikeout sitting at four and a half at plus money. So uh, that's something that you can look at. Let's see. Uh, four and a half at plus money. I mean, hey. Uh, he's hit that number uh, one, two, three, four, five out of his last six games. Prior to his last game, he hit that number five straight. No, four, four, four out of his last five games. He hit that. Mm-hmm. And then, even if you want to just, you know, alter something up, uh, you could get four strikeouts for Cobb at a pretty decent number there. Uh, but you know, somebody like Ashcraft, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Uh, uh, even though, you know, he's been pitching uh, okay as of late, uh, you know, even if you want to get down to a, a three strikeouts or something for him in the same game parlays, you could get four strikeouts and three strikeouts for minus 111. Uh, this offense, uh, San Francisco has been showing some patience, and they have been getting to batters here and there. So uh, you could uh, tip your expectation if you want. Last time uh, Ashcraft pitched against them, he had four hits. Uh, six innings pitch, one strikeout though. Like you know, uh, that was his lowest outing in strikeouts there. So uh, I can understand if you wanna uh, not want. I don't. I, I'm, I don't know which side I want to take in this one. That's one thing I don't know. And uh, if you do decide to take uh, 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 the, the the Giants, man, uh, five strikeouts to win is not out of the realm of possibilities there. Uh, I, that's probably which way I would probably lean. Uh, Cause this is a very he- very healthy number on the money line, and uh, that's that's the only thing I can look at five strikeouts in the win. Uh, I don't really single out a single bat when it comes to San Francisco Giants, but that's about it, man. You know, uh, some bats before I before I leave, I did have some bats you could look at here. Uh, like I say, uh, some home run candidates here. You could look at some guys like. Uh, let me ramble them off real fast, all right? Uh, CJ Cron, um, he's six for seventeen versus Dylan Bundy. He plays for Colorado. Uh, four extra base hits, three home runs. He's going to be a home run candidate for me. Like I said, Nolan Arenado, he's uh, ten for thirty-six. Uh, he has three home runs. Uh, yeah. Uh, even if you want to get somebody like Austin Hedges, he has two home runs versus Nick Pavetta. All right. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, Audible Mentors, Bradley Perez, uh, DJ LeMahieu, uh, Lariano and Seth Brown, and Cronenworth. All those guys have one home run, and I think they're in decent spots. Uh, Riley and Swanson, uh, those are two home run candidates as well. All right. Uh, there's more. There's more. I only just touched on a few. You can look at guys like Trevor Story and, you know, things of that nature. But, yeah, I only touched on a few guys today. I didn't really take up the whole slate. Peace, guys. Peace. Uh, Have a, a great day today.